Hello. In 1980, my father offered 50 acres of land to build a Buddhist centre here in the Whipstick Forest of Bendigo. This initial gift has since been added to with land from my mother and myself, so that we now have over 120 acres, or 49 hectares, of land. In 1981, Lama Yeshi came here to Bendigo and laid out his master plan for the entire site, which included a Buddhist centre, a monastery, a lay community, an aged care facility, and right in the middle, a big stupa with a big temple inside it. Today, much of this plan has become a reality. Tupton Shedrup Ling Monastery is home to Geshe Konshog Sering and several Australian monks. And Atisha Centre offers regular meditation courses and retreats. A stupa is the most sacred building in Buddhism. It is a symbol of the enlightened mind. Following the advice from Lama Zopa, the Great Stupa is based on the Great Stupa of Gyantse in Tibet. It is the same size and shape as the one in Tibet, 50 metres wide and rising to a height of just under 50 metres. This will make it the largest stupa in the Western world. His Holiness the Dalai Lama named the stupa the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion. He said, this stupa will be very significant for Buddhist spirituality and Tibetan culture. When His Holiness came here to bless the Great Stupa in 2007, he said it should become a centre of interfaith study and Buddhist science dialogue. At present, the Great Stupa is about 45% of its total height. Our intention is to complete the bottom of the Great Stupa over the next few years and then to build the top of the Stupa piece by piece. The Great Stupa has been engineered and built to last for at least 1,000 years. It will cost around $20 million, not including any of the artwork. And it's funded entirely by donation. In the Exhibition Centre you will see many of the precious items which have been offered to the Great Stupa. Foremost amongst these are the holy relics of the Buddha and many holy saints. You are welcome to view all items. We simply ask that you take off your shoes before entering the relics area. You might have also heard about our Jade Buddha project. In the year 2000, in the far north of Canada, an enormous boulder of jade was unearthed. It was 18 tons of beautiful, translucent jade. Its size and quality led it to be described as the find of the millennium and was given the name Polar Pride. I found out about Polar Pride in 2003 and after seeing it at Vancouver, I spoke to Lama Zopa Rinpoche about it. Lama Zopa had a vision that Polar Pride would become a Buddha that would illuminate the world. And the next day he told me, you must make it into a Buddha as a holy object to offer to the world. It took another five years to complete the Jade Buddha, which is the largest Buddha carved from gem quality jade in the world. Lama Zopa Rinpoche has called it the Jade Buddha for universal peace. The beauty and size of the statue have attracted worldwide attention. After completion, it has been taken on a tour dedicated to world peace. The tour commenced in Da Nang, Vietnam in March 2009. So far, the Jade Buddha has visited Vietnam, Australia, Canada, USA and Europe, and well over five million people have come to see it. After the tour concludes in several more years, the Jade Buddha will come to its final home at the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion. On your tour, you will see a green tara which has been carved from an offcut of Polar Pride and the real jade halo of the Jade Buddha. You will also see a fiberglass Buddha which was cast directly from the Jade Buddha. And inside the Great Stupa, you will see a very large brass statue of Padmasambhava, which was consecrated by His Holiness the Dalai Lama. 
We hope that you enjoy your visit to the Great Stupa of Universal Compassion and invite you to come back regularly so you can see our progress in creating the Great Stupa as well as the monastery, the Tisha Centre and this entire Buddhist project which is being set up to be of benefit to all beings. Thank you.